Today I want to show you how to actually set a flight plan using a Garmin 650 along with the AF5000 EFIS. So notice if we double click flight plan, it brings up our flight plan. This is what's being received from the Garmin 650 right now. Notice up here in the right hand corner, left hand corner, it says course GNAV1. GNAV1 is GPS navigator. In our case, that is the 650. So let's go over to the 650. Let's go to the map page. Let's do a direct to select waypoint. Here you can type it in or you can actually hit find recent and I've already got Aurora so let's go KUAO. We could have typed that in. Activate. Now notice we have a magenta line here and if we zoom out you can see it's going to Aurora. Now over on the EFIS side notice the flight plan is now populated going to KUAO. Let's double click it. Take off that. Notice we have our magenta line. The waypoint up here says KUAO. Track, we're not moving right now. So the distance is 5.1 nautical miles. Track and ETE, we're not moving, so it doesn't know that. We can also, at the same time, bring up the map by double clicking map. Here's our map. Now, if we zoom out with range, you can see the magenta line pointed to KUAO over here off the screen. With touchscreen like this one, we can actually do that. Now, notice it's KUAO. We've got the lead in arrow. Now, let's go look on the other screen. Notice on this screen, it just automatically popped up because KUAO because it was on GNAV1. If you change the course, it may go to a different spot. So let's hit map, source. If we forced it to say GPS2, notice we don't have integrity because we're in the hangar and there's no flight plan anymore. So GNAV1, which ought to automatically populate over. So there's our magenta line. Same with over here. So let's go ahead and bring back up the EFIS, double-clicking EFIS. Let's take the map away. Let's bring the engine up, back, bring up our engine. Now if we wanted to change source, everything is tied to the course, the CDI. So if we hit course, let's go to internal flight plan. Now there is no, notice at the same time, it changed waypoint ID on our other screen to nothing and internal flight plan for course. So it automatically cross filled. Now, if we changed course here, let's go back to GNAV1, the 430. Notice everything filled in. It automatically changed the other screens in the plane to GNAV1. Should be all there is to it. So if something isn't working, the first thing to check is, Am I getting the waypoint ID? If I double click flight plan, does it bring up the waypoint from the 650? You can do that on any screen. So let's do it on the middle screen. Let's double click flight plan. Notice it's in here also. So that should be all there is to it.